Hi everyone! This week it was my turn to pick the theme. I'm a big Doctor Who fan, as I may have mentioned in the past. Wednesday, April 3rd, happens to be the official Fish Fingers and Custard Day, as determined by BBC. So it's become a popular Whovian community... <sighs> rite of passage, almost? To make your own Fish Fingers and Custard and see how they taste. So, that's what we're gonna do this week. For those of you who don't know, Fish Fingers and Custard is the 11th Doctor's favorite thing to eat. The first thing we have to do is make the custard, which is really easy. It only has two ingredients besides the custard mix, just milk and one egg yolk. You don't need to add an egg yolk, but it's said for a richer custard to add one well-beaten egg yolk, so I figured why not. So then take a small saucepan and light it to medium heat. And you want to add two cups of milk. Then you want to add in the custard mix. And then I just added the yolk. And then you want to stir that pretty much constantly until it comes to a boil. I've tried to make custard in the past and I've messed it up. And I think that's because I wasn't stirring constantly, so I'm making sure to be pretty vigilant about this. And that's finally boiling, so I'm going to take it off now and transfer it to a bowl. Then it says to sprinkle with nutmeg, so I'm going to do that because I want to do this right. I'm not sure how much is too much, so I'm going to say that's good. And then I'm going to let that refrigerate for about an hour or until it sets. And it's been about an hour, so I'm going to check on my custard. Looks pretty set. Don't know if it's supposed to look like that on top, but I'm going to stir it up and see how it is. Ta-da! <laughs> Looks pretty weird to me, but I consulted the internet and that's more or less what it's supposed to look like. And it basically tastes like custard, so I'm going to call it a win. So now that the custard is done, it's time to cook our fish sticks. The oven's preheated now, so I'm going to put the fish sticks in. And those bake for about 15 minutes. I actually just read that you're supposed to flip them after 10 minutes, so I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to put them back in for 5 more minutes. And they're done, so I'm going to take them out and see how they look. Seem pretty good to me. The moment has come. Everything is ready, and now we just need to try it. So trying the fish fingers and custard along with me today are Elijah, Leah, Maybe Tegan, <laughs> and special guest, David Tennant. <laughs> Elijah's going first. Wish me luck. <laughs> How bad is it? Mm. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, I've heard a lot of people say that it's actually not bad. You're double dipping. <laughs> 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 I think that's everything. I'm good. I'm quite a smart bad as I thought. It's in fish. Oh, she's getting a nice glob. Mm. It's actually kind of nice. It's <laughs> <laughs> not as bad as I expected. I think, as Charlie would say, the worst part is it's actually kind of tasty. <laughs> We've all actually enjoyed them a lot. We're all having seconds, so good indication. So Elijah, what was your opinion of the fish fingers and custard? I really enjoyed it, but I also put tartar sauce in my pizza. Mmm, so your opinion can't really be trusted. <laughs> what did you think, Leah? Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I actually didn't think it was as bad as I was expecting. It actually was tasty, and I'm not as weird as him, so... I agree. My opinion can be trusted. And as you can see, Leah is wearing a Doctor Who shirt, so she's quite the authority. <laughs> I as well thought it was pretty good, and we have a ton of custard and more fish fingers in the freezer, so we're probably going to have to eat it again. Hope you enjoyed my video. See you next week. None for you, David? Are you sure? <laughs> I know it was the 11th Doctor's thing, but... Yay. <laughs> She's so cute. Aww. <laughs>